My PowerPoint, you can read it. Thank you. Okay. So you're working through um, the small agency accounting at DES? Yes. This is what you're doing? Yes. Okay. Uh, Representative Caldier has a question for you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So your minutes uh, before indicated that you had a very low turnout at public meetings on the issue of the your the transgender ruling. And what I want to know, because I represent Gig Harbor, uh -huh. and I received uh, close to a thousand phone calls and emails regarding that issue, which is one of the reasons because of the public outcry as to why the YMCA changed its ruling in Gig Harbor. And so I'm trying to figure out why you had such low public input when I received something completely different and what did you do to uh, uh, get public awareness? Well, we, we, we sent out information that the meetings were gonna happen and uh, it was posted with the code revisor and we, what we did is we had four work groups around the state. The work groups were not well attended. Um, and then through budget cuts, it took a couple of years and we um, had a community meeting or a, the, the public hearing in, in uh, Tacoma. And then we also had a one month period posted on the code revisors website where people could also submit comments to us and nobody submitted anything. You've never, you haven't received any comments. No, I that is there was like three, crazy. There, was, there was a few, so. So you that started is, the process. And I realize in, there's a lot of public outrage around this. You started the process in 2012, is that correct, on this rule? Yes. And then you just published it in 2015? Yes. And so perhaps you could get for the committee sort of some of the timeline or some of that information about uh, what that outreach was. I've seen um, over the years we have public meetings and people don't see the importance of attending until after something is put into place and then the public becomes aware or maybe there's uh, better outreach. Uh, around that as well. Uh, Mr. McEwen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. Ortiz, I think maybe the reason for that is that you, you were in violation of the RCW. You didn't publish the rules. The link to your website went to the workshop. The RCW requires you to publish ahead of time the rules. Would that probably be the reason why there was very little public input? Um, I'm looking at the, the copy from your website. It uh, it. When you click on the link, it goes to the work group. It never, you never published the rules that you were implementing, that you were proposing to implement, or that you subsequently implemented. Well, I'd have to look into that, because like I said, we have not had access to our website since uh, September 11th. But you put a 11th. flyer on for a workshop in December. In December. So you did have access to it. In December of what year? This past year. I don't think we have. If you didn't have access to the website, then how can you comply with the RCW to publish the rules? I'll have to check on that, sir, and we'll get back to you. Okay. Any other questions? Nope. We have hit our time limit at 10 o'clock, which uh, is not exactly a hard limit. Um, we appreciate you getting back to us about the details okay. on the website. Um, I brought, left you copies of our community report. We did have to bind them ourselves because we couldn't afford to have them published. Okay. Thank you. Um, and with that, we are finished for the day. We will.